Now let's solve this 15 items is a related math quiz game na nagaganap kahapon ng alas 4 ng hapon. Ignore nyo yung oras dito kasi magkaiba tayo ng oras. So, we will solve them one by one. Number one. Stocks for pink, red, and yellow flowers were in the ratio of 4, 5, 8. And it was decided to increase by 50%, 60%, and 50%. What will be the new ratio? Since new ratio lang naman ang hinahanap, uh, ito cancel out na natin to para hindi na panggulo lang yan ba. Ang i-focus lang natin ay yung 4, 5, 8. 4, 5, 8. Tapos, increased by 50% ang 4. So, 50% of 4 ay 2. Tapos, increased by man siya. So, bali, yung 4 plus yung 2. So, 4 plus 2 and that is 6. Ngayon, yung 5, yung 5 naman, nag-increase ng 60%. So, times 60. And that is 3. Nag-increase siya ng 60. So, bali si 3 ang ipatong mo sa 5. 5 plus 3, that is 8. So, ito namang si 8, nag-increase ng 50%. So, 50% ng 8, and that is 4. So, ipatong mo, si 8 plus yung 4 ay 12. So, ito na yung uh, maging ratio niya, 6, 8, 12. Pero, ilist mo pa siya. Paano mag-list yung... Uh, Pinaka greatest common factor nila ay 2. So, i-divide mo sila lahat ng 2 para malist siya. 6 divided by 2, 3. 8 divide, divided by 2, that is 4. 12 divided by 2, 6. So, the answer to this question ay 3 is to 4 is to 6. Tapos, ngayon gawa tayo ng shortcut. Ang shortcut, isulat mo yung 4, 5, 8. Si 4, i-multiply mo ng 1.5 kasi 100% ng 4, 0.5 is equivalent to 50%, and that is 6. So, i-divide mo ng 2, 3 na siya. Ito naman si 5, i-multiply mo ng 1.6 kasi 100% of 5 plus 60% ng 5. 5 times 1.6, and that is 8. Si 8 naman, multiply mo ng 1.5, kasi 100% of 8 plus 50% of 8, or 8 times 1.5, and that is 12. So, ang least common, uh, greatest common factor niya para ma-least ma natin ito, is i-divide natin ng 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, ang answer dito ay 3, 4, 6. Number 2. A wealthy villager gave away one-fifth of her property to her nearest neighbor, one-third of the remaining to the, nearest, to the next neighbor, and one-half of the remaining to her best friend. How much part she is left? Ang una niya binigay yung one-fifth niya. So, bali yung buo niya, which is equals also to 5 over 5, para pareho ang denominator niya, i-minus natin ng one-fifth muna. So, ang natira niya ay 4 over 5. Next, ang one-third of the remaining, binigay niya sa next na kapitbahay, ang one-third na remaining. First, i-divide mo siya ng tatlo, itong 4 over 5. Mag-divide ka ng tatlo. So, 4 over 5. Copy the 4 over 5. Tapos, ang division maging multiplication. Tapos, itong divisor mo, maging reciprocal niya ay 1 over 3. And that means, 4 over 15. Dinivide mo siya ng tatlo. So, itong tatlo na to, uh, dinivide mo ng tatlo, 4 over 15, ang 1 third. So, yung 4 over 15, ito yung binigay mo dito sa, and one third of the remaining dito sa next neighbor mo. Binigay mo yung 4 over 15. So, i-minus mo siya. Ito yung natira mo, minus 4 over 15. Or, 
another way. Tatlo naman yan. So, yung dalawa, may dalawa ka. Tatlong 4 over 15. Tatlo siya. So, bali, may dalawa ka na natira kasi yung isa ibinigay mo. So, ang dalawa i-multiply mo, that is 8 over 15. Yan yung natira mo. Tapos yung uh, 8 over 15, ang 1 half nito, ang 1 half nito, yan yung binigay mo sa best friend mo. So, ang 1 half ng 8 over 15, i-divide mo siya ng 2, kasi 1 half man. Mag-divide ka ng 2, kopyahin mo lang si 8 over 15, maging multiplication. So, ito maging 1 half, reciprocal. And that will be 8 over 30. That is 4 over 15. So, ang answer dito ay, how much part she is left? Ang answer dyan ay, 4 over 15. Another explanation para mas klaro lang. Diba bandang dito, ang 1 third divide, yung 4 over 5, din divide natin ng tatlo. At saka yung 1 third, binigay man natin. Ito man yung equivalent ng 1 third. Halimbawa, hindi tayo mag-multiply ng 2. So, 4 over 5, ito siya. Mag-minus tayo ng 4 over 15, which is yung 1 third niya. Kasi binigay mo sa next na neighbor, binigay niya. It times 3 natin to para maging pariho sila ng denominator. 15, tapos times 3 din, 12. 12 minus 4. So, 12 minus 4, and that is 8 over 15. So, ganun pa rin. 8 over 15 pa rin kung nag times 2 ka. So, yung 8 over 15, yan yung dinivide natin ng dalawa. At yung isa ang ibinigay, ang isa ay natira kay wealthy villager. So, the answer is 4 over 15. Number 3. 7 pipes can fill the tank in 1 hour and 30, 25 minutes. How much time in minutes? In minutes, huh? It will take it to fill 4 pipes. Bali, itong pitong pipes na to, shh, makafill siya ng isang tanki, shh, 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 in 1 hour and 25 minutes. So, 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes plus 25 minutes, that is 85 minutes. So, sa loob lang ng 85 minutes, mapupuno ng 7 na pipes. Ngayon, paano kung 4 na pipes lang? Kung 4 lang na pipes ang gagamitin Para sa tank, mapuno ang tank, ibig sabihin, the more, uh, the lesser na pipe, mas more ang minutes. So, 7 divided by 4, that is 1.75. So, 1.75 times 85... So, the answer is 148.75 minutes. Yan na yung answer dito. Number four, find the sum or difference of the given expression. Itong mga terms na to, hindi sila like terms sa loob mismo ng parenthesis. So, ngayon, i-add natin sila or i-deduct natin sila depending sa mga like terms nila. Negative 5i minus positive 11i, and that is negative 16i. Negative 16i plus 6i, and that is negative 10i. Okay. Next, 3 minus negative 5, may magiging positive yan, kasi parehong negative, that means... 8, positive 8. 8 plus 8, and that is 16. So, ang answer ay 16 minus 10i. Number 5. One half percent of 600 is 25% of one-fifth of what number? 
So itong 1 half percent or 0.5 percent, 0.5 percent i-divide natin ng 100 percent para makancel yung percent na yan and that is 0 0.005. So ang equivalent nito 1 half percent is 0 0.005. While si 25%, that is 25.25. So, erase muna natin to. Balik tayo. Ang of ay equivalent ng multiplication. Ang is ay equivalent ng equals of multiplication at multiplication. Ngayon, isulat natin lahat yan. 0 0.005 times 600 equals 0.25 times one-fifth times uh, let n be our number. I-multiply natin yan. Answer is 3 equals 0 0.25 times one-fifth is equals to 0 0.05 times n. Then, mag-transpose tayo para ma-isolate si n dyan. So, makancel dyan. Nandito na si 0 0.05. So, bali... 3 over 0 0.05 equals n. Para mas madali, ito ay multiply mo ng 100, magiging 300 na siya, ay multiply mo ng 100, so whole number na siya. So 300 divided by 5, the answer is 60. So ang answer dito ay 60. Number 6, x, y, and z can do a job in 8, 16, and 24 respectively. In how many days can y... Do the job if he will be assisted by X and Z in every 8 days. Bago natin gawin yung equation na yan, ang unahin muna natin ay yung total ng lahat. Bali si X plus Y plus Z equals yung total ng magawa nila. Itong si X, ito yung si 8. Bali 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus yung 1 over 24, tapos yung isang trabaho total nila. Ngayon, every 8 days lang si X and Y, to si X, ay si X and Z pala, si X at saka si Z, every 8 days. So, bali, yung 1, 16 na si Y, 16 yan, plus 1, 8, nitong dalawa. Si 1, 8 plus 1, 24. So, ito na yung equation. Doon tayo sa magandang pagkagawa ko na. So, let x, given naman to, na 8, 16, at saka yung 24. So, ito yung equation natin kung sila lahat. Ngayon, every 8 days lang yung x at saka si z na tutulong kay y. So, 1, 8 lang ang contribution nila sa work ni Y. So, ito na yung new equation natin. Ito na yung new equation which is ito siya, 1, 6 plus yung 1, 8 na itong 1, 8 plus 1, 24 equals 1 over yung total na trabaho nila. So, uh, i-add up ito. Ang least common denominator niya ay 24. So, para maging 24 yan, mag times 3 tayo. So, Numerator to numerator, uh, denominator din, tinatry yung 3 natin. So, 1, 8 is equivalent to 3 over 24. So, pwede na siyang i-add. Numerator, 4. Kopyahin lang ang denominator, which is 24. Bago tayo, bago natin i-multiply yan, kasi multiplication first before nitong addition, bag, bago natin i-multiply, mas maganda na rin na i-lowest uh, term muna natin si 4 over 24, which is ang pinaka-greatest common factor niya ay 4. So, i-divide niyang 4, divided ng 4, and that is 1 over 6. So, pwede na natin i-multiply, and this is 1 over 20, uh, 48, 4 times 16, so 48. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-add siya. Ngayon, pag mag-add tayo, kunin natin ang least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator will be 48, which will we will only multiply this 2 by 3. So, 1 over 16 is equivalent to 3 over 48. Kopyahin ang denominator. Pwedeng i-add ang numerator. So, 4 na siya. 4 over 48. Para mas klaro lang, si 4 over 48 equals 1 over t. 
i-close multiply mo si 4t equals itong 48, lagay mo dyan, 48 times 1. Pwede na yung wala kasi 48 times 1, 48 lang, lang din naman. Kasi si 4, so 48 divided by 4, and that is 12. So the answer is 12 days. Tapos balikan natin yung piniprepare ko, itong 4 over 48, ginawa ko lang siya ng 1 over 12, bali dinivide ko ng 4, yung greatest common factor niya ay 4, so divide by 4, 1 div divide by 4, yung 48 is 12, so 1 over 12. Itong 12, uh, nag-transpose tayo para ma-isolate itong si T dyan, so the answer is 12 days. Number seven, solve this correctly. We can only solve this correctly using the rule called order of operation or PEMDAS. Para mas madaling, ma mas madaling maalala, kaya we will use the acronym PEMDAS. Parenthesis. Sa loob ng parenthesis, yan ang unahin natin according pa rin sa rule. Sa loob ng parenthesis, my exponent. Negative 2 squared, the answer is negative 4. Remember, pag negative 2, naka-close sa parenthesis yung negative at saka yung 2, raised to 2, the answer is positive 4. Pero pag ganito lang, that is negative 4. And kapag ganito, squared, so bali yung 2 pa rin, that is negative 4. So proceed tayo. Next, tapos na tayo sa exponent. Now, with regards to multiplication or division, kung alin ang mauna. Dito, nauna ang division. So, we will solve the division first. And this is uh, 12 divided by 3. That is 4. 4 times 4. That is 16. So, ibaba natin muna lahat. We have 100 minus 8 minus 4 plus 16 plus 20. Sa loob pa rin tayo ng parenthesis. Now, next rule, addition or subtraction kung andin ang mauna. Nauna ang, ad, nauna ang subtraction dito. So, unahin natin ang subtraction. 8 minus 4, and that is 4. 4 plus 16, and that is 20. So, I bring down natin yung ibang numbers. 100 minus 20 plus 20. Para mas madali, it's either, it's either, i-cancel mo lang yan and the answer is 100. Pero according sa rule, addition or subtraction kung alin ang nauna. Na, nauna ang subtraction, so we will do subtraction first. 100 minus 20 and that is 80. 80 plus 20 and that is 100. So pareho lang. So the answer is 100. Number 8. Find x and y so that the equation is true. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga exponent. Yan ang yung mga exponent. Sa law of exponent, pag nag-multiply yung mga base with the exponent, yung mga same base, i-add lang yung exponent. So, dito muna tayo mag-focus yung may mga same base. Pag may exponent, ito yung tinatawag na base. Halimbawa yan, Tapos, exponent yan. Ito yung tinatawag na base. Yan yung exponent. Now, same base muna tayo. Yung 3x times 3, 4 equals 3, 8. Dito tayo mag-focus. Bali, x plus 4 equals 8. x equals 8 minus 4. So, x equals 4. So, bali yung equivalent ng x ay 4. Next is same base na 6. 6, 6. So, bali, 6 to, uh, raised to 5 times 6y equals 6, 10. So, sa law of exponent, itong mga exponent na to ay i-add lang kung ang same base sila. Mag-multiply yung exponent, mag-add lang tayo. So, bali, 5 plus y equals 10. I-transpose natin, y equals 10 minus 5. So, y is equals to 5. So, y is equals to 5. Ang answer dito 
x equals 4, y equals 5. Number 9. If a jar with water weighs 15 kilograms, when one half of the water is poured out, the jar and the remaining weigh, water weigh 9 and 3 fourth kilograms. How much does the jar weigh? Magdrawing tayo ito si jar. O diba? Kakaiba yung jar ko. Shh. Itong si jar may water siya. Shh. Lahat siya, ang weigh niya, ang timbang niya ay 15. Ngayon, nung uh, tapos yung half ng water ay uh, natawag nito poured out na so bali ang natira ay half ito na water ang natira ay 9 and 3 fourth so ibig sabihin kung i-minus mo siya yan yung one half na water kung i-minus mo siya so i-minus natin 15, kasi 3 fourth yan, mag mo na tayo, itong 15 maging 14 at 4 over 4 minus 9 3 over 4 and that is, dito tayo 14 minus 9 5 and 1 fourth. Itong 5 and 1 fourth uh, ito na yung tubig mismo. So, kung isa pang 1 ha, isa pang Ito, ibig sabihin ito rin ay 5 and 1 fourth kg din siya. Kasi yan yung nawala eh. Kung i-minus mo, yan yung 1 half na water equivalent nito. Ang timbang yan ay 5 and 1 fourth. Ito yung total nila. At ito naman yung natira nung tinapo na yung 1 half water. So, ibig sabihin yung difference niya, yan yung timbang ng 1 half water. So, itong natirang 1 half water, ito din yung timbang. So, i-minus ulit natin sa natira. So, bali ang natira ay 9 and 3 fourth minus ulit tayo kasi ito yung 1 half na water na 5 and 1 fourth. So, equivalent to 9 minus 5 that is 4. Pariho lang naman ang denominator. So, madali lang mag minus tayo ng 3 minus 1 that is 2 fourth. So, that is 4 and 1 half kilos. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung timbang ni jar. Itong si jar lang. Ang answer dito ay 4.5 kilograms. Number 10. An Anita sells to Blessy an item at uh, 15% profit. Ibig sabihin, ginansya. Blessy sells the same item to Clarice at 25% profit. Ginansya pa rin. Ibig sabihin yung in increased. If Clarice pays 1,656 for it, what is the price at which Anita bought the item? So, let A be the original price. So, bali, 15% plus yung original price, that is 100%, 100 plus 15, that is 115% of 100. 125% kasi profit lang din siya of the original price is 1,656. So, ito na yung equation. 115, that is equivalent to 1.15 of multiplication. 125%, that is 1.25 of multiplication. At saka si A equals 1656. I-multiply mo yan, and that is 1.4375. Apat ang place ng decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, dyan. Times A equals 1656. Transpose mo, A is equals to 1656, 1 1.4375. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, maging whole number siya. Apat. One, two, three, four. So, yan na yun. Ma-shortcut tayo. Ang answer dyan ay 1,152. So, ang answer dito ay 1,152. 1, number 11. What is the sum of 
the odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 70. Mayroon tayong separate na video about how to add consecutive numbers without even memorizing its formulas. Pero sa ngayon lang, uh, we will use my own formula na, na form ko para mas madali shortcut siya. The, uh, otherwise, i-post ko rin kung paano i-solve itong add consecutive numbers. Ito yung style ko. Let A be the first add number and B yung last na add number. So, ito yung uh, low bat na ko. Ito yung formula ko na na form. And that will be B minus A divided by 2 tapos uh, plus 1 tapos isa pa. And then divide pa ng 2. Yan yung nabuo kong formula. So, bali kung yung first add number natin ay 1 plus yung last number natin ay 69 kasi add lang that is 70. 70 na tayo dito sa isa. Ito naman, yung last number natin ay uh, 69 minus yung 1 that is 68 na siya. Yung 68 divide ng 2 uh, 30 that is 34. Si 34 mag-add tayo ng 1 that is 35. Si 35 i divide ng 2 and that is uh, this is 15, 17.5. So, 17.5 times 70, the answer is 1,225. Paano? 17.5 times 70. Tapos, pwede mo siyang isulat na ganito. 7. So, kasi na-cross out mo na, tsaka yung decimal, wala na. And this will be 35, 49, 50, 52, and 52. It's 5. And this is 12. So the answer is 1,225. 1, 1, Number 12. Four toddlers have plenty of toys. The first toddler has one tenth of the toys. The second toddler has 12 more toys than the first one. The third toddler has one more toy of what the first toddler has. And the fourth toddler has doubled the third toddler. How many toys are there? Ibig sabihin yung first toddler, second, yung third, plus yung fourth, tsaka yung total, yan yung total na toys niya. Yung first toddler ay one-tenth daw sa total. So, ibig sabihin ito na yung, yung letter T will be our total over ten, yung si first. Ang second, ito yung first Yung second natin ay, the second toddler has 12 more toys than the first one. So, si T10 plus 12. Yan yung second natin. Now, yung third, third, asa na si third toddler has one more toys of what the first toddler. One more toys daw, si first toddler plus one. Yan yung third. Yung fourth the fourth toddler has doubled the third toddler. To see third toddler. So double lang siya. Total over 10 plus 1 and equals. So ito na yung equation natin. So I solve na natin ito. Since addition lang lahat at itong mga terms nila, like terms naman ito. So unahin natin itong mga like terms na to. And this is 3t minus uh, over 10. Plus, ito ay 13. Plus 13. Ito naman, ay, i-multiply natin. This is 2t over 10 plus 2. Total. So, ang mga like terms mo na i-add natin. And this is 5t over 10. Ito naman, plus 15 equals t. Then, this will be 5t over 10 equals t minus 15. This will be t equals times 10, t equals 15. 
then 5t equals that is 10t minus 150. Tapos ipagsama ang mga like terms that is 5t minus 10t equals negative 150. This is negative 5t equals 150. Tapos si t na lang at si negative 150 divided by negative 5. The answer is positive uh, 30. In other words, 30 ang total. Number 13. A solution is made of water and pure orange. If 70% of solution is water, how many liters of pure orange are in 20 liters of this solution? 70% of water, ibig sabihin, 100% minus 70%. 30% I pure orange. So, 30% of 20 liters are pure orange. So, 0.3 times 20 equals 6 liters. Yan yung sagot dito. Number 14, what is the best way to answer this? Ang tanong ay how? Hindi yung sagot mismo. Kasi yung itong mga ganito, lumabas ito sa last March na exam sa CSE. Ang lumabas yata yung, 80, ano, yung 81. Square root ng 0. 0.00081. So ngayon, gawa natin ng square root nito. Paano ito uh, i-answer natin? Ganito lang yan. Gawin mo siyang fraction. 64 at saka yung 0.00064 Ilan yan? Anim yan. So, gawa ka ng anim na zero. Ngayon, mas madali na siya. Square root of 64, that is 8. Square root of 1 million, that is 1,000. So, greatest common factor ng 8 at saka 1,000 ay 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Uh, 1,000 divided by 8, that is 125 or equivalent to 0 0.008. Or simply do 8. 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ito na yung answer. Number 15. Ay, sagutan lang itong last na to. Identify muna natin kung itong mga ribbons na to equals 32. Pagpalagay natin si letter A iyan. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4A equals 32. A equals 32 divided by 4. That is 8. Ibig sabihin... Ito equivalent niya ay 8. So, lahat ng ribbons ay 8 ang equivalent. Pariho lang naman ang itsura lahat, so 8. Next, kung ito ay 8, ang total niya ay 16. So, kung 16 yan, 6, 20 ito ang total. 20 minus 16, that is 4. May dalawang balloons. So, ibig sabihin, tag 2 na ito. So, ngayon, ang lahat ng balloons ay 2 ang equivalent. Ito ay may uh, subtraction, addition, addition. Sa uh, PEMDAS rule, PEMDAS rule, it's either addition or subtraction kung alin ang mauna. Naulda ang subtraction, so unahin natin si subtraction. So, 8 minus 2, and that is 6. So, 6 na ang total dito sa dalawa. Ang difference nitong dalawa, 6. 14 ang total, minus 6, and that is 8. Dalawa sila, so hatiin natin yung 8 sa dalawa. So, tag 4 itong orange. Lahat ng orange ay 4. Now, ito na yung equation natin. Uh, 8 plus 8 divided by 2 times 4. According sa PEMDAS rule, multiplication or division. Kung alin ang nauna, nauna ang division, unahin natin yan. So, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 4 times 4, that is 16. So, 16 plus 8, and the answer is 24. So, ang answer dito ay 24.